So now we can consider working in the activity or exercise danger zone, progressive overload, because this is the essence of conditioning and how it develops. This really is a specialist area requiring a team of individuals and knowing when limits have been reached, knowing when to quit when you are ahead before injury, knowing when to listen to the horse instead of coercing them or allowing them to be coerced to comply with your exercise recommendations. It means progressively stressing the musculoskeletal system with repeat exposures to create positive adaptations to improve strength, flexibility and structural integrity of the injured area. Structural integrity being the preserve of musculoskeletal professionals and clinicians. It's the fine line between physical and behavioral signs between comfort and discomfort or pain. Between if, for example, the horse has habitual reduced flexion on one side of the body that can be addressed with suppling, or if the problem is structural and the horse is compensating. This is why, in my opinion, manual techniques should always precede exercise techniques so that subclinical asymmetries can be resolved and any that won't resolve with manual techniques can be referred to a veterinarian without delay. First, do no harm. Always keep that in mind. And this chart shows that progressive increases in safe loading or application of mechanical stresses over time are implemented. Alongside sufficient recovery periods between sessions to extend tolerance levels and structural adaptation to develop their physical qualities. Increases are incremental, measured, balanced, work capacity or stress tolerance is gradually increased over time. Positive training adaptations are allocated time for the body to adopt them. And this chart applies to all features of the training program, such as suppling, strengthening, stamina, skill, then speed, although they overlap and sometimes worked on simultaneously. This process, though, is not always linear. Differing features of sporting movements take differing times to produce. Monitoring and testing may be represented by the red dots as each stage is successfully attained. For those with less experience in prescribing exercise, it's best to keep your recommendations to the symmetry suppling and introductory strengthening phases of progressive overload because the risks of causing harm or injury are for the most part negligible in the equine athlete that has been pronounced fit for foundational work so in this zone here so most of you equine therapists potentially coaches may be working in the symmetry, suppling and early strengthening. Beyond that is the preserve of professionals or, exper or those experienced in producing the athlete. Regular gait analysis and tack checks at these intervals are critical for sport horse progression and should be part of the monitoring program. So for example, for tack checks, saddle checking, saddle fit checking, the horse can easily and readily change shape throughout this process.